Hey, my name is Brian Finale. I want to welcome you to my website here. You are here for one reason, one reason alone, and that is to master the art of seductive, persuasive, hypnotic copywriting. That bottom line gets your customers to buy your stuff. This is all about you. Over the next 60 minutes, I'm going to give you a recorded presentation that's going to give you everything that I know. I'm a copywriter myself. I've been doing this for about nine years. A master copywriter. I've been able to create millions of dollars, not only for myself, but for my affiliates because of this skill set. And I've learned some crazy, awesome, seductive, just copywriting that prints money that helps people get results when it comes to getting people to not only opt into your capture page, but follow through and buy your product, service, or offer. And there are ways and tricks to get into the mind of your, the unconscious mind of your prospect, to influence, to persuade, to get them to take the actions that you want them to take. I'm actually going to give you my two most favorite ways to tap into your prospect's brain and start controlling the mind of your prospect in under three minutes. It's two tricks that I've learned to get inside the prospect's brain. That's the most dangerous place that you can be is inside the mind of the person you're trying to persuade. Once you do that, it's lights out, game over. You're going to make some money with whatever you're trying to sell. This presentation is jam-packed with gold nuggets. It's 100% free. You take a look over my shoulder. I'm going to show you a picture here. I just laid out a couple of products that I've bought. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in learning this skill set, buying the products, going to events, implementing this stuff, split testing. Look, my friend, you are going to get pure gold over the next 60 minutes and the best stuff that I know. So grab a pen and paper. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and hand you over this recorded presentation. Take notes and I will be with you after this presentation. I'm going to come back. I've got something very, very special for you. The next 60 minutes will radically transform the way you see copywriting and how you build your business. So enjoy. All right, guys, I promise that after the next 60 minutes, you will be able to turn your now okay copywriting into legendary copywriting that gets your customers to buy your stuff with dangerously persuasive words, okay? Sound like a big, bold promise? I hear you. I do. I hear you. I'm going to prove it to you where over the next 60 minutes, I'm going to give you some tricks, some hacks, some things. I'm going to explain why copywriting, and I'm going to actually give you some stuff to sink your teeth into so to be able to apply immediately after this webinar so that you can start persuading your prospects, your customers, controlling their minds, Right, getting them to think the thoughts that you need them to think so that they take action and buy your stuff. That's the name of the game, period, okay? Next 60 minutes. Please, as we dig in here, if you haven't already, close the doors, turn off Skypes, turn off Gmails, you know, whatever you've got, messengers, iPhones, Blackberries, iPads, anything that buzzes, and just give me 60 minutes because I'm taking, uh, taking a lot of time to prepare this presentation and the, the preceding videos that led up to this, and all I'm asking is for the next hour, you give me your focus and let me change your perception about copywriting and really your entire life. So one hour, just focus, okay? I'm not going to spend too much of time on my story. Uh, a lot of people on this webinar are familiar with it. But I will tell you, I'm a, I started this business 2005, super broke, and uh, the initial reason was because I, w I didn't want to get a job. I wanted to continue to play music, but I also wanted to live a ridiculous lifestyle with no limits. That's it. That was the, that was the sole purpose. I wanted to help people and make a ton of money doing it. Okay, top right there um, on stage, a couple hundred people. I'm not sure. I don't know, a thousand people. Um, we now, you know, fast forward to today, been able to create one of the, well, the largest, uh, to my knowledge, attraction marketing generic training platform for home business owners. Been just a crazy ride. There's so many leaders on here on this webinar that I'm so, I'm so blessed to work with every day. The bottom right was one of my first vacations I was ever uh, ever able to afford. I've got my laptop there. I don't even know where that is. Maybe Aruba, um, Jamaica. We, I tried, I've been traveling a bunch over the last six, seven years. But um, that was a moment where I had opened, I remember getting an email of just like, I think it was like a $20 commission. But it was just so surreal because I was able to afford my, like one of my very first vacations, real ones, that my parents didn't have to pay for, right? And they were coming along with me. It was something that I, I was able to go and uh, go to an event, and I'm sitting there under Cabana um, with my laptop. I remember we took that picture of a buddy named David Schwinn, and I just had the laptop open, and an email came in saying I earned a commission. I was like, dude, like this is this is starting to become very real. <laughs> and I was like, man, uh, because he's he's got a very big uh, uh big big heart for uh, copywriting and mastering this for this persuasion this persuasive skill as well. And uh, that was just an awesome day. And I said, Dave, dude, go take a picture of this. This is capturing a moment where it's like you know you see the people online with their laptops in the middle of the beaches working a couple hours a day making money. And for me, that moment wasn't just a dream anymore. So that picture is very sentimental to me. Uh, the bottom middle, uh, live in Austin, Texas, love it. Um, I have, I'm in a boat club. Me and my buddies go out there all the time during the summer. Uh, bottom left is me and my buddy uh, co-founder here, Norbert, at one of our events. The middle there with that little jet plane, uh, me, um, the guys walking up the steps there is our, our, uh, one of our partners, our main programmer here, uh, Todd Schlomer and Roxana Hanna, and we are getting on that plane to go visit some property, which we eventually bought in Costa Rica, and we are about to break ground down there, which is very cool about this, is because there is an international airport going up like three miles from where we bought this land right on the water, so the goal is to get a couple of flight lessons under my belt and be able to go to a private airport and jump in one of those guys and be able to fly down to my kind of resort feel thing going on vacation right, you know, two miles from my Costa Rica home, so <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool life. Uh, and top left was, that was my very first Jeep. Um, I've always wanted a Jeep. My very first car, I still have her. I probably will never sell her because it just means so much to me. Uh, the first time I had enough money, um, I, I, this is probably the dumbest thing, but I paid cash for it. I didn't know any better. That was one thing I wanted. Whenever I started my business, I was like, if I ever make enough money, I want my dream car. You know, and that was her. And it still is. Went in there with, like I think, 40 grand. And uh, I bought the, you know, the six-inch lift, the 35-inch tires, and the four-door. And I, during the summer, no doors. It, uh, it just is so, so cool. And I love that thing. And the middle picture, last one, they were going to go. Just because I do think it's important for those who don't know who is speaking just to get an idea of who, who they're speaking with and, and uh, who's hosting the webinar. My brother, my brother Jim, we are hanging out at uh, a home I just purchased this past year. First home, first million dollar home. We're drinking great scotch uh, and, and smoking fine cigars. Very integral part of MLSP. He does all the creatives, uh, everything uh, that makes us look so good over at MLSP. 
my brother Jim, definitely way more talented than I. And that's me. That's my life right now. From struggling, broke thirty thousand dollars in debt to you know twenty five million dollars, whatever it is, company. I'm not even sure what it is right now. It's a lot. And I can attribute, you know, literally if I had to point, same as what my mentor Mike told me, if I had to point to one skill set as like the X factor as to why I am where I am today, it is this skill set that we are about to dig into. Why? Why learn it? Why do you care? Dangerously persuas persuasive copywriting. And before we move forward, there is a very big difference. If you've ever purchased a book on copywriting and or been through a couple of trainings, I've been through a ton of them. I, this is not just your feature benefit stuff. Okay, this is not just talking about you know make sure you don't just write the feature but provide a benefit that the reader cares about. This is when I say persuasive copywriting. This is encapsulating like human psychology, human needs, uh, digging into the mind, understanding the thought patterns of individuals, and rewiring them so that they do what you ask them to do, so that they see your product, service, or offer. They associate that to like being able to melt that product, that, that buying that course, X, whatever it is, is the answer to all their prayers and can melt all of their pain away and fulfill one, if not more, of their human innate needs that need to be fulfilled for them to move forward and buy. Okay, Very different than just saying, you know, talking about features, benefits, and the basic copywriting stuff. And while valuable, and we'll touch on that tonight, that's not where my head is at because there is so much more to be said about copy, especially copy that's going to pay you millions of dollars a year. Okay, Number one pain scale online period. And I've you know, uh, watched a lot of marketers come and go, and I see that, you know, here's the deal, guys. Um, this isn't going anywhere. Copywriting is never going to go out of style. It's evergreen. It doesn't matter. I mean, I got slapped from Google back in 2007, I don't know, seven, six or seven, like a million times, and it was a pain in the ass. But learning these skill sets, like I had the, the rug pulled out from underneath me, and I know people get YouTube slapped. Like I got YouTube slapped. I lost like 17 channels back in the day, right? With this skill set, it doesn't matter. If you can't get on Facebook, that's okay. If you learn this, you can take these strategies and this knowledge and apply it to banner advertising. Or you can, you know, every single blog post, every single Facebook post, boom, it doesn't matter. This skill set is the umbrella that holds the whole marketing web, your whole blueprint together. Great copywriters are never broke. If you find a great copywriter, some of the best, they hire, you know, they cost six multi six figures to, to write one single letter. And they can get the real good ones, can uh, absolutely warrant that price tag and then take a percentage off the top. That's what I call <laughs> sexy. Okay? They are never broke. That's why you need to learn this skill. Like I said, traffic strategies, they come and go. They, they sincerely do. There's always something new. There's always something better. There's always something brighter, right? The shiny object syndrome. And, there, and things change. Heck, look at Facebook every single day. That back office changes. And you need to, it's like a struggle, a fight. Like you got to click, uh, kick and crawl to just stay on top of it. When you master this, it doesn't matter the, the, the medium for getting the lead. You're going to get the lead if you do this part right. And that, my friend, is priceless. This bleeds into all of your marketing, everything that you do. Email, Facebook, Twitter, blogs, vids, articles to get like, literally what well, 1% conversion increase to get that. Okay? If you just get decent at what I'm about to go over with this dangerous, dangerously persuasive words and, and seducing your customers to buy, okay? copywriting mastery, 1% is the difference from quitting, being broke, never having success, and finally breaking free. It is. Especially if you have OTO one-time offers in place, and you've got uh, you know you've got a handful of offers that are uh, that you have your fingertips on. Especially for all those mastery members, imagine just having a one, two, three percent increase in everything that you do. Okay, that is not out of the ordinary. That is not out of the realm of possibility. Once you learn this, and one degree, one percent increase. And I love this. I love I, this extra degree stuff. At 211 degrees, water is hot. At 212, it boils. That's one degree. And with boiling water comes steam. And with steam, you power a train that can travel from Florida to California. Power. One degree, one percent conversion. Can I get you to buy into the fact that if you just tweak your copywriting, if you can follow some of what I'm about to show you and increase your conversions one percent, that that is doable? Maybe you're not even getting any leads. Maybe you're just getting visitors. But what if you could get one to three to four or five percent increase in opt-in? So let's say you actually could start getting leads now, right? We got to start somewhere, and that's totally cool. One percent increase can absolutely retire you from your your job this year. Okay. Now, like I said, we're going to touch on, I'm going to fly through a lot of this stuff because I did cover uh, some of it. A lot of it, some of it, I, I changed it a little bit to give you more different perspective, but I do want to touch on this because again, uh, there's like close to a thousand people who registered in, within this last day, okay, who weren't able to get these videos and they are now offline forever, like we said. Okay. I don't know if they ever, if they ever will be back on. So for those who didn't get even through the first one because of time, because they were at work and they're just getting home, we're going to go through a little bit with you and catch you up and then we're going to move forward. Okay. So manipulate. This is, this was something, and a quick story is, um, I was on stage speaking maybe uh, five or six years ago, and I was talking about this topic. I was go discussing NLP tricks and hacks and, and these, these mind things that, that you know, are, some people could view as manipulative, where we try and persuade the thoughts, behaviors, and thought patterns of our prospects. And it, you know what? Everyone, I think I gave away like 15 or so tricks that I've used in the last year to make millions of dollars online through MLSP. And it was an awesome. I remember, I mean, I couldn't even see the crowd because I'm sitting there. If you can imagine like four or 500 people strong, can't see anyone. I'm just in state. I'm having such a good time on stage. I love speaking. And at the end uh, of, of my presentation, just a roaring applause, everyone like standing ovation. And I was like, holy shit, I didn't even see or hear that during the actual speech. And I was like, man, cool. I killed that. They love this stuff. This copywriting thing is actually, you know, people are into it. And uh, afterwards, I remember after the, after the, the event at a VIP party, 
people, you know, they're taking pictures, coming up saying hi, and I love that stuff. I love meeting entrepreneurs. And I can remember, just like it was yesterday, this woman came up to me, and she didn't have a very happy look on her face. And uh, and I, I, she pulled me aside, and we had a quick conversation, and she looked me dead in the eye and said, Brian, I love you. I do. I think you've got a great heart, but what you're doing is teaching people how to manipulate. And I said, <laughs> it actually, I didn't, I, I first didn't even occur to me that that could be perceived in that way. And then, for the next couple of years, it really didn't sit well for me. I mean, if you notice, I haven't really taught this stuff because it didn't sit well with me. It didn't sit well with me at all. And then a very dear, actually for years, to the point where I haven't taught what I'm about to teach you on stage. Some of it, yeah, was in the precursor videos. And then what's going to happen at the end of this webinar, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag and give you exactly what allowed me to break through when it comes to copywriting. This this set so uneasy with me that for the next couple of years, I kind of just put the topic off the side. I sat, I still kept digging. I still kept learning. I still kept reading and mastering the craft and always testing and finding what works and learning the psychology of human behavior and, and why people do what they do and how to get them to do the buying triggers, right? Uh, and then it wasn't until a very good friend of mine, a lot of people on here know, uh, he gave me a piece of literature. I won't mention his name because he'll probably get slammed by people on here to give him the document, which I don't want him to feel obligated to do. But he gave me a piece of literature that absolutely change my perception on the word manipulate and here to fast forward to today that I can and feel comfortable with and am okay with what I'm about to share with you. And what's funny is that you have to be okay with it. And I'll show you why in just a second. So this is by a guy named Blair Warren, a guy I absolutely adore and admire when it comes to persuasive, just crazy, awesome, mind warping, mind bending psychology and persuasion. Okay. And he, what he did in, his, in this piece of literature, uh, he went to the dictionary, Webster's dictionary, and he actually looked up the word manipulate. And this is what he found. Three definitions. The first one is to work or handle skillfully. Okay. So when I say the word manipulate, most people have a negative connotation of that word, right? I would assume so. Now, in the dictionary, the first def definition here is to work or handle skillfully. I think that's a pretty good asset. I think you would agree, okay? Let's move on. Number two, to manage artfully or shrewdly, often in an unfair way. And he went on to show, to show uh, what shrewdly, because that's kind of a word that might rattle some cages and, and say, oh, shoot, that doesn't sound good. I don't know if that's for me. Well, shrewdly, actually, in the, in the dictionary, look, uh, it's, its definition is clever or sharp in practical affairs. So to manage artfully, gracefully, or cleverly or sharply in practical affairs. I would chalk that up as one for the good guys, okay? Now, the second part of that, often in an unfair way, I am not, I, and he goes on to say this too, you can't deny that some people, I mean, you look at the crazy, some of the cults that have been able to, you know, the, the leader, its leaders have been able to convince, you know, a handful of teenagers to take their own life, the ultimate sacrifice, because they understood this skill set, because they understood this persuasion, this mindset, or this, this human need psychology, and they played on it for a negative way. I'm not debating that. There have been horrific, some of the most horrific events in history, okay, have happened because leaders have used this stuff in an unfair way. But to dismiss it and not understand it and then take it a step further, be the good guys on the planet to actually make an impact and power and uh, impact the world positively because of the same information. Because it's at all of our fingertips. Whether we choose to access it, embrace it, and apply it is one thing. And then to each his or her own, you know, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but whether they use it for good or bad, it's up to them. I mean, it's free will. So often in an unfair way, sure, right. But just as there are two sides to every coin I've seen, right, my goal is to get this in the hands of people who actually want to make a difference in a, in a positive way so that we can – touch, move, inspire the masses and get them out of their jobs, get them to actually, you know, step into their fears and move forward anyway, right? So they can actually live a life without limits and, and boundaries so they can be with their kids. That's what I'm about, baby. That's all I'm about. And if I, and this, we need to be okay with this, this word manipulation, okay? So in an unfair way, sure, it happens. But in a positive way, absolutely, absolutely. We can do that as well. To author for one's own purposes. That's the third definition of Webster's Dictionary. Cool. One's own purposes. Well, what are they? <laughs> that is, again, to each his or her own. And what is your motive for action? Right? If you have a terrible mindset and you enjoy, you gain, you have, you get pleasure from other people's pain, from other people's suffering, well, that's garbage, first off, right? If that's your purpose, of course, you're going to use this in an unfair way or try to, right? But if your ultimate goal and purpose is for good, you have pure intentions, a clear conscience, and a good heart, I do believe, right, guys, in fact, when I hear, I usually do this in the beginning. If you'll just raise your right hand and say that with me, as I say this, raise your right hand, and this is no joke, please, if you'll just raise your right hand with me, okay? I solemnly swear, repeat after me, I solemnly swear to use this information only for the good of mankind, okay? Only for the good of mankind. I will not manipulate or take advantage of in a harmful or hurtful way, and I am a source of good on this planet, okay? That is a crest. <laughs> you just agreed as we move forward that you will only use this in beneficial ways, okay? Cool. Now, we all manipulate. It is part of our existence. It, we've been doing it ever since the beginning of time. It's a survival mechanism. If you look at Abraham Maslow's his, uh, his hierarchy of needs, the bottom, the, the one that we have to get as human beings is survival, and we will manipulate anything and everything that we can to get that need. Survival, okay, period. So we all do it. In order to fulfill our needs, humans will do anything. They will do anything. They have to. The needs, these aren't values. These aren't beliefs. These are innate human passions, needs that we need to meet, okay? These aren't learned. They are born with us. And, and what's cool as copywriters and marketers is that we're all built the same way. We all have the same DNA, 
So we can, if we can tap into one human being, we can tap into all of them. We manipulate the environment and our circumstances all the time. Okay? If you don't believe me, just look at our government. They've been manipulating the currency since we've taken off the gold standard. They've been manipulating the environment and its circumstances to serve them. Okay? It's manipulation. Right? Whenever we manipulate our parents as children, the very first time a child plots his or her parent, his mom against his father, in an attempt to go to bed an hour late so he can finish watching his show, right? and it works, that's his very first uh, his taste, his very first like, bite into what we call manipulation and him getting what, is, what he wants to fulfill one of his needs, whatever that was for him. Okay? And shoot, we, we manipulate our children as parents. I mean, if you've ever played a game that serves you so that a kid does what you want them to do, that's manipulation. And what's interesting is that in, in the same study, um, the same study by, by Blair Warren, he talks about how when in all of his interviews that he's done, when asked, most people will say that persuasion is something they do and manipulation is something others do. Yet they're the same thing. They are the exact same thing. Why is this important and why do they spend 10 minutes on it? Because if we can't agree on this, then we live in a made-up world where persuasion can only happen by chance, and I can't allow that. I cannot allow, allow that at all. If that were the case, I would be stepping into my office every single day and just kind of you know, rolling the dice to see what happens in this sales letter, rolling the dice on this ad, seeing what happens. It is not by chance. We need to agree that we all manipulate. We must accept that. And here's the deal. Anytime we try to change the thoughts or behavior of another person, we are manipulating them, and that persuasion is the tool we use to manipulate. That's it. Anytime we try to change the thoughts or behavior on another person, we are manipulating them. Period. If we can't agree on that, we can't move forward. And you might, I mean, honestly, if this doesn't sit well with you, take it in, take a deep breath, and revisit this part of this webinar on the recording if you're an MSP member, because this is fact. This isn't like by chance. This isn't for debate. This is what is. From a multi-million dollar copywriter, I'm telling you, this is what is. Everything I study. It's exact same. Persuasion is just a tool we use to manipulate people. And if we are good people, we use that to try and better the lives of other people, to provide solutions to their problems and help them make them live or help them live a better life for them and their families. Hell yeah, I'll manipulate for that. That's my I'm a stand for that. Hell yeah. Okay. So the big question is what are your motives? Who are you being? Ulterior motives, pure intentions, and really. If someone says they don't like the idea of manipulation or they think other people are up to no good, go take a look in the mirror, right? The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. If you sincerely believe that other people are out to get you, you probably have some inner demons that you need to deal with and fast or you're going to stay broke, okay? It's all mindset. If you have arterial motives, there's a reason for that. And you got to look inside because you know, there's something there. And I'm, that's a whole topic and a whole webinar for another time. Your loved ones, friends, and prospects, they're going to find a way to meet their deepest innate needs. The only question is, will you be the one to satisfy them? That's it. That's the only question. Someone's going to, whether it be the other marketer, God forbid it be someone with ulterior negative motives, right? When kids run off from their parents because other cult leaders meet their lead, meet their needs better than their parents, even if it's for a you know a negative purpose, that cult leader is still fulfilling on that child's deepest needs, and that's why they love them and they will do anything for them, right? You need to be the one to satisfy those needs if you want to make money online and make a difference. Be a force of good with this knowledge, okay? So humans have a so where does this where do we or where do we go from here, right? Humans have a few select undeniable needs they will do anything to meet. And when you understand what these are and how to play with them, how to manipulate them, how to fulfill them, it is game over, lights out. Lights out, okay? When you become a master persuader and learn to elicit the emotions that fulfill – emotions. <laughs> this word is a, a funny one, guys. This is in what we're going over and what I go over in copywriting mastery is emotions is everything. It's a transfer of sales. And, and, and without emotions, there, no sales will ever happen. You will never make any money. And I can remember – I was out in Singapore actually with my buddy Dagan Smith, and uh, we were speaking to. We actually went to uh, Malaysia, and we went over to Singapore with this guy over there, a guy I totally adore, and I love this dude. He hosts events maybe once a quarter, and he's got teams in place that promote these events for him. And he shows up once a once a quarter, and he does like over a million dollars in sales each live event. He's got like 300 people there. Okay, so after the first time I saw it, I was like, all right, this guy knows what he's doing. Awesome. I think that was, that well, that was in Malaysia. And then we went over to Singapore the next week, spent a week there, and I love Asia. Definitely want to go back. The food, oh my god, I gained like 30 pounds. <laughs> the, the, when we got into Singapore, watched him rinse and repeat and do the exact same thing. His numbers were through the roof. And I can remember we were up at one of the biggest, the largest hotels in in, uh, in in Singapore, and I didn't realize how much wealth was over in Singapore. I knew they were doing okay, but he was telling me, and he pointed out to what we were on, on, on the penthouse level on one of the um, one of just this incredibly clean, awesome, amazing, luxurious uh, hotel, and he pointed over to like a ship that that expanded over three different buildings. So if you can imagine a ship 50 levels high from the ground, a ship that ex that expanded all th across three different roofs, okay, 50 le 50 stories up, that was their casino in Singapore. And he pointed at it and he said, he said Brian, that casino over there does more revenue in a day than all of Las Vegas does in a day. And I, I took a step back. We went over. We checked it out, and I saw some of the high rollers and what they were betting, and I believed it. I had to see it to believe it. But holy shit! Anyway, where am I going? <laughs> oh, oh yes, because I asked him one set, one question that has stuck with me forever. And I said, dude, you are killing it, man. You honestly put in like you know you put in a weekend, very minimal time for the promotion of these events, and you show up for the weekend and you, you host the event. Dude, you're making six figures a quarter, or excuse me, seven figures a quarter. What, what's the secret? And he leaned in after a couple beers, and uh, he all he said was one line. And you guys want me to, want me to share the line with you? <laughs> he says to me, he goes like this, Brian, when I'm on stage, it's not what you say. It's what you, it's what they feel. It's not what you say. It's what they feel. 
And ever since that, I mean, I've heard emotions make a big deal, but for whatever reason, that hit me, struck a chord with me. And ever since then, I mean, emotions are such a big, big, and I'll show you, I'll prove that a little bit later here, a big deal with what we do with copywriting mastery. Uh, that trip, that sentence forever altered the way I look at copywriting. And it was such a good time, and I owe him so much. So, insatiable needs. We follow those who meet our needs. We love those who meet our needs. We listen to those who meet our needs. We do crazy things. Look at the cults. Look at some of the, like I said, the most horrific acts in the history of this planet. Leaders who manipulated the minds of others, played on these human needs. It was like shooting ducks in a barrel, right? Shooting fish in a barrel for these guys who understood these human needs and the psychology behind why people do what they do. We can get people to do crazy things if we understand and know how to meet their needs. We buy from those who meet our needs. Hmm. You guys getting curious as to where, where we're headed with this section of it? The degree in which you can manipulate. Manipulate. It's okay. It's not a dirty word. We mystified, demystified it, like in our first slide and what it means, and it's okay. Manipulate with and quench your prospect's needs to the degree in which you can do that will determine your ultimate success as a copywriter. This is one need. It's a sense of hope. You give your prospect, or anyone for that matter, a sense of hope that you can give them a gateway, a bridge to a better life. Just give them hope. That is one of the strongest psychological triggers and needs. And there's a way to weave that into your copywriting that makes you irresistible. It's a sense of hope. Achieve their dreams. If you can help anyone or paint the picture, and this is what you are. You are the script writer for your prospect's dreams. What, if you understand that, you can change everything. If you can help people achieve their dreams or get them in that dreamlike state where that your business, product, service, or offer can help them fulfill their dreams, live a life they've always dreamed of, or, or do something they've always dreamed of, you will win. And a scapegoat. There is no... <laughs> look at the ads on, uh, you know, on, on freaking TV for that matter. If you look at some of the drugs, right, the very first thing they say is, I, I don't know, that's, what's, uh, what's a good example? If you have high blood pressure, you know, it may, it may be because of, you know, uh, I don't know, your diet or something, or maybe that's not the best example. If you have a, if you have a, I'm drawing a blank here. Hmm. Uh, okay, if you have depression, okay, let's use that one, that's a good one. If you have depression, it may be, it, it may be uh, because of an imbalance, a chemical imbalance in your brain. What is that? What, they're hooking you. They are hooking. And the, these, these pharmaceutical companies and these, these uh, commercials, the, these marketers, they know this. Right? If, you, if you're feeling depressed, it may not, you know, it might be due to a chemical imbalance in your brain. The first word, they're hooking them with one of, the, the, one of, the human, one of our biggest needs. Right? We want to feel, and this is, the sad part is this, of this is that you know, I, I don't agree with this one in the sense like, hey, you, know, you, you got to you reap what you sow, and you're 100% responsible for your results, and I wish that this was different. Right? It's not. You want people to buy your stuff, give them, make them feel a sense that their problems are outside of them. It is not their fault. You provide them a scapegoat, that's what those, those pharmaceutical commercials, those guys are doing immediately in the first two seconds because they've only got 20 or 30 seconds to really hook you. They're going for blood, right? Because those who have depression, immediately, that's going to pique their interest and their curiosity because they're not at fault. How cool is that? So while I don't necessarily, I don't agree with this when it's like leadership and building businesses and wanting to surround yourself with the best people, Right, so they can raise the boats around you up. Scapegoat, to dismiss or ignore this, is a fatal blow to your copywriting and your marketing efforts. In Copywriting Mastery, I'm not only going to teach you all of these needs, I'm going to teach you how to elicit emotions with dangerously persuasive copy, copy that fulfills on all of them inside the brain, the body. It can elicit these emotions from their chemicals, their brains are chemical, like legitimately send out endorphins and, and serotonin and good freaking chemicals so that we can fulfill on all of these needs that I will dig into in Copywriting Mastery when you get this. And you understand what they are, and they're not many. There, there are not many of them. But when you can play on all of these in a very simple freaking capture page and, and bleed that into your sales letter and sprinkle it all throughout, you will win. Very, very big. And this is uh, one of the one of the, the most successful ads of all time. Uh, this was written by John Caples years ago, years ago. Uh, and they laughed when I sat down at the piano, but when I started to play. Now, this is a beautiful example of this ad capturing the dream. Uh, for anyone who's ever wanted to learn how to play piano, they always, and if that is you, I know that one of your dreams is to be able to go to a, like a party, a nice dinner, or maybe be at a hotel lobby where they have a nice grand piano, and you sit down, and you are able to play the most magnificent pieces, right? Be able to sit down and just amuse, inspire, and, and all of your friends and family who will now surround you, and you're the life of the party, you're the center, you know, you're, you're the, the center of attention. That is a headline that throws a dagger in anyone's dreams need, okay? For anyone who's ever wanted to play piano, this is straight through the heart, shot through the heart, boom. And if you go on to read this, when we talk about NLP emotions, metaphors, anchors, associations, this is so cool. If you actually, if you Google this article, they go into, uh, I mean, check out this, I'll just read this paragraph. I played on as I, and as I played, I forgot the people around me. I forgot the hour, the place, the breathless listeners. The, the little world I lived in seemed to fade, seemed to grow dim, unreal. Only the music was real. Only the music and visions it brought me. Visions as beautiful and as changing as the wind blows 
as the wind blown clouds and drifting moonlight that long ago inspired the master composer. It seemed as if the master musician himself were speaking to me, speaking through the medium of music, not in words, but in chords, not in sentences, but in exquisite melodies. <laughs> yeah, talk about images, metaphors, and bringing up, well, we're not going to dig into it right now, but this is, there is no question, no doubt in my mind, why this piece, why this advertisement is, one of, in my mind, the most successful ad of all time. And if you've ever seen anyone steal this headline, it's because it works. They laughed when I told them I'd make $50,000 a month or whatever it is, but when I did or whatever, they are mirroring, they are, they, are, they are taking this copy, this headline that is produced, you know, this is what this ad is for, is for people, it's for a music school, they, they don't, you don't need to show up, you don't need a uh, teacher, they actually send you stuff through the mail through, and they can teach you um, through, through snail mail how to actually play the piano so that you can do it affordably, you don't have to go anywhere, you can teach yourself very easily and effortlessly, okay? Phenomenal ad. What is, let's move on, what is dangerously persuasive copywriting, okay? Anything that holds your attention long enough to get your money. Joe Vitale. That it, he will tell you, and I will agree, engagement. Without engagement, if you do not engage, you've got nothing. And I've read many, many times that the goal of every single sentence, of every single PowerPoint slide, of every single paragraph, the goal is to get them to read the next line. you got to hold their attention long enough to get your money. That, we are going to base the file, you know, from here this point forward, persuasive copywriting, dangerously persuasive copy, is anything that holds your attention long enough to get your money. When you get out of your head, and into your prospects. You gotta do this. It's not about you. It's not about your offer. It's not about yourself, which is funny, because there's so many, <laughs> we spend so much time, there are millions of, of products out there that teach you how to build you up, your offer, yourself. Your prospect doesn't give a shit about you. Excuse me, I get very passionate. I'm sorry, I sometimes I say some, some words. I apologize, I should have asked for permission because I do let some explicit slides sometimes and trying to keep, it, keep them in. Um, they care about themselves and that's it. That's all they care about. They do not care about you yet. And in order to do this, in order to get into their thoughts, you must understand their innate needs. And I gave you three of them earlier. And I gave you a, kind of an example of how to tap into one. But their innate needs, that, the reason I covered that first is because that is the foundation. You want that hypnotic buyer's trance, you need to address their thoughts. You need to meet them where they are, in their brain, in their mind. Okay? And when you do that, magic will happen. It's not about you. You need to put your ego aside. You need to put your thoughts, your feelings aside, and step into the ego, the mind of the person who matters in this example, which is your prospect, your reader. Okay? Is your company debt-free? Been around eight years. Nobody cares. How do you turn copy like that into hypnotic copy that actually people will, will, will help people and they care about? Is your company debt free? Okay. Uh, well, doesn't matter, right? You want to tag something along the lines of, you know, is your company or uh, company is debt free? And what that means to you, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, is that we're here for the long haul. Your family, you know, you can bank, rest assured, the security of you and your family, we will be here for the next five or 10 years because our company is debt free. Okay. Sure. State the feature, but why the hell does that matter? It doesn't, that doesn't do anything to the, you know, everyone's, so many millions of companies are debt free, right? That's one of their big taglines. If your MLM company is debt free, okay, sure, say that, but what does that mean? You're not digging into their thoughts. In fact, most people, their websites and their, especially their corporate websites and their copy will just state facts. It's like a they just puke all over themselves and they wonder why that doesn't work. Been around eight years? Okay. So what? We've, like, we've been around eight years and what that means to you, and I wouldn't actually say that, <laughs> what that means is that your product, your, you know, whatever you bought from us has been tested. It's been through the rinks, right? We've been doing this for eight years and what that means is that you're going to get a quality product, right, that hundreds of thousands of people enjoy and they've been enjoying for over eight years. Okay, you're going to get it on time. You're going to get what you pay for. You're going to get the best because we've been around eight years. Right? You see how that's different? The hypnotic part, and I, I want to stay on the slide for just one more second, it is about them. And every piece of material of copywriting, you need to go through with a fine-tooth comb and make sure that every slide, every line fulfills this. Okay? Now, control your prospect's mind. Uh, I touched on this in video number two, and we're just going to go over because, again, lots of people weren't able to watch those videos, and I don't want to do them a disservice. And for those who saw some of this, I changed it up a little bit, giving you some more content. But repetition is the mother of skill. If you think I read some of these books and went through these training courses one time and put them on the shelf, you're dead wrong. It is mastery, right? Uh, some courses I've listened to 10, 12 times over. And that's what it takes if you want to master something. My two tools to get inside your prospect's mind in three minutes or less. Because inside the very mind of the person you are trying to persuade is a very dangerous and profitable place to be, okay? Questions. Now, these are my two tricks. You want to anticipate, and this one is so big. It is, this is like my favorite one. Anticipate your prospect's questions, their objections, and their concerns. And address them at the exact moment when they are thinking them. That is a key to hijacking their brain, to tapping in and, and like sticking a needle right into their brain center, their nerve center, right? And from there, you can control and direct the thought patterns and where they go from there. And you get there, one of them is by asking questions that they are having the minute they have the questions. Lead your prospect to your way of thinking and to doing what you want, okay? But first, you must meet them where they currently are. Always, always, always continually ask yourself throughout the entire sales bid or letter, what is my reader thinking now, okay? What is my reader thinking now? That question in my sales copy has made me more money than any other question that I ask, okay? Because I understand this, that if we can get these questions, if we can answer, or excuse me, ask the questions, the minute our prospect is asking it to themselves, we've, we've got them, we hook them. We have got them. Language is everything. Even the best persuaders get this wrong. I'm gonna show you some examples because I'm very hands-on, I'm very visual, and I hope you, you, uh, you can see how powerful this is. After a big hook of promise, anticipate what they will think, okay? Now, the bottom, I said something like this right when we started. I gave you a big hook over the next 60 minutes, uh, X, Y, Z. And then I said, sound too good to be true, okay? 
if you if you say like, hey, I'm gonna teach you how to get you know 30 leads over the next seven days through Facebook 100% free, that's a pretty big hook, right? What if you could right after the hook say something like, sound too good to be true? Because you know the prospect's thinking that they're already skeptical, right? That's the nature of the beast these days. There's so much garbage, hype and fluff, and just crap out there on the internet. It makes me sick to my stomach. It, and everyone is skeptical out there online today. Okay, so to ask this question is the first step in the right direction. Now, this is really, I want you to take this, and I'm glad we're, we're covering this. Hard to believe, sound crazy. Don't, I would never say something like hard to believe because that is a thought. That right there is going to instill a thought into the prospect that what you're saying is hard to believe. Does that make sense? Like, you don't want it hard to believe? Well, shoot, you're, that's a command, and we'll get to that later. That is a command telling the person that you are hard to believe. That is terrible. What you want them to do is believe you, to know, like, and trust you, okay? So to say hard to believe, whether you had a question or, you, you know, you, if, you're, if you're throwing it out there to try and hook them, that is not the right, the language, the question, cool, plus one, the language inside the question, minus 10. You do not want to make your prospect, because they weren't even thinking hard to believe, maybe. Now you just set a command, and now they're conscious, they're unconscious, definitely picked it up, whether they're conscious did or not, you know, that's one thing, but hard to believe, question mark, that gets them to think that you are hard to believe, and that is something you never want to do, ever, in sales. Another question, towards the end of your presentation, I know what you're thinking, okay? I know what you're thinking, okay, okay, I get it, but I don't think I could really do this. That's terrible, terrible, okay? Because everyone, you know, when you, when you present an offer, guys, 99% of the people every time are thinking, oh, well, that worked for Mary, you know, Joe was able to do that and have success, but could I really do this? That's what they're thinking. I'm telling you, that's what they're thinking. These are two questions you can use immediately right after this uh, presentation in your sales videos, in your, your capture page videos, in your blog posts. You know, could I really do this? Question, it's a good attempt, terrible language. Okay, what if at the end of the presentation, okay, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Mr. Prospect, I get it, I get it, I get it, but could I really do this? Now, why that may seem insignificant, could I really do this? That opens up the brain to the idea that could I really do this? So when it was like, this is an open-ended question, the brain's gonna start to go to work for it and look for answers to fulfill on this question, okay? Could I really do this? And you say could, you know, but can't, instead of saying can, like for example, okay, okay, Brian, I get it, but can I really do this? That's a yes or no question, okay? Now this is big, let me repeat that. That's a yes or no answer, one or done, you could lose them. Now instead of saying can, you say could. Could I really do this? It's open-ended, the subconscious and the conscious, it's not like a yes or no, a battle answer, like could I, could I really do this? And what's cool, they're unconscious, is going to actually go to work to find reasons how they could really do it. It's going to open a door that, you know, two seconds ago wasn't there, just by changing the word from can to could. And you'd never say, I don't think I could really do this. Look at the command there, the first, that top one. But I don't think I could really do this. I don't think I could really do this. That's what you're saying. Why in the hell would you say that to your prospect? Do not, the language is everything. You want, you want the 1% conversion difference, you stay away from language like this garbage. And you say, okay, I get it, but could I really do this? That you want them to think that they could really do this. You use could to open up the unconscious even more. The cost objection, it's always on your prospect's mind. Never say, I can't afford this. Or like, for example, at the end of the presentation, you're going to say, so maybe you're thinking, I get it, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. I can't afford this, or this is really expensive. <laughs> if they weren't thinking it, now they are. If they weren't having that thought, congratulations, now they think that they can't afford this, or their brain's going to start going to work for that to find the answers to why they, you know, that they can't afford this. <laughs> okay? You got to, you know, especially if you have a higher ticket offer or it's a little bit pricey, maybe even $150 mastery, right? You never sell on price. Is there enough value here? Is this worth it to my business? Could I have, could I afford this? Could I? Not can I. That's a yes or no. No, I can't. I just look at my bank account. Well, could I? Shoot, I could. I have room on my credit card and I really want this. Always sell on value, never on price. You never say the word expensive. Chances are your prospect that wasn't even in their vocabulary. If you say it, now it is. That is not a word that elicits an emotion that is going to fulfill a need that is going to move people to buy your stuff, buying trances. They are severed when you say the word expensive. Storytelling. The offer itself isn't important, important whatsoever. So we've got questions as the first one. It's your story tag of the offer. And here's the important thing. You, wanna, you need to. This is an option. You have to write in the way people think, feel, and make decisions. It's their unconscious mind. You can only tap into it through story. That is the only way to communicate to your prospects or even your own <laughs> unconscious mind. The human body, it sends 11 million bits per second to the brain for processing. Okay? 11 million. And from study to study, that number varies, but the takeaway is the exact same. The conscious mind seems to be able to process only 50 bits per second. Okay? Encyclopedia Britannica. That's their data. And if you go there, they actually have some cool cool data and cool stuff to actually uh, to provide, to actually uh, back this up with real data and case studies and things like that. 50 bits per second out of 11 million. You're unconscious, okay? They're sending 11 million bits per second to the brain. Your conscious is picking up 50. Knowing that, which part of the brain, the unconscious or the conscious, do you think is more important that we focus our copywriting on? The infinite power of the unconscious mind. The only way to tap into it is through story. Story slips past their mental radar and into their unconscious. Way better than any command ever. Unconscious mind, and here's the thing, it's like a seven-year-old. This is why it doesn't understand the words that we speak. It speaks in metaphors, images, and pictures, like that piano ad that I showed you. That, if I read that whole thing to you, there are a million different images and, and just cool metaphors and, and paintings that you would, you know, as the, the unconscious mind would actually start painting in their own head, that's what you want. You need to speak its language. You need to write story, tell story, speak in metaphors. That gut feeling, right? The one that allowed you to find that girl of your dreams, right? Or the man, right? That gut feeling. 
when you like you just knew it was right or when you found this industry you knew it was the one you were being pulled towards it and you just had inside yes it didn't make sense because you know on paper the, the the bank account was a little bit low and it didn't make sense to make the decision right now to move forward but you knew you had to that gut that's the one that will either get a customer to buy or not and I'm telling you that does not reside in the conscious mind that is sitting only in the unconscious it is not your logical conscious mind that is running the show of your life it is your unconscious and it only speaks in story okay same as questions when people read your story it takes place in their mind's eyes said differently you are now in their head if you can tell a story you tap into their brain. If I want you to start thinking about your high school experience, I start telling you stories about mine. You are now in their head, and you can begin to control their thoughts. The goal is to keep people focused on what they get from your product or service. You want to keep them focused with a story that reminds them of their wants, whatever that is, slash needs. Okay? Phenomenal power and story, and here's the big takeaway. You don't just shove a conclusion down their throats, but one that naturally leads your prospect to make the conclusion that supports your proposition, i.e. buy your stuff. I put Vitaly down here, but I've heard, <laughs> he's not, I've read that so many different ways and so many different times. In fact, uh, Milton Erickson, one of the founders of hypnosis, I mean the guys, if you're familiar with NLP, those two guys mirrored pretty much 90% of what that study is and what came out of it. It's come from just mirroring and watching Milton Erickson at work and his big thing, his big thing, his biggest thing was he would tell stories that seemed off the wall, had no apparent, you know, there's no reason, no rhyme or reason to the madness whatsoever, but the stories would naturally lead the prospect to make the conclusion that Erickson wanted them to make, whether that was quit smoking or, for, you know, let go of a phobia or whatever. Right? He would tell these off-the-wall stories. The prospects thought he, were, they, he was freaking crazy. They'd pay him. I mean, this was a cool story, actually. The, um, the, uh, the, the gentleman, um, he walks into the, to see Erickson, and this was, don't take me for bait on this. I just remember this when in one of the NLP events that I went to. This was such a cool story. This guy, he alluded to this. Um, we told the story. of This is the story he told. Erickson told one of his uh, clients who was trying to quit smoking. He told the story about a horse who lost his way. And it was, you know, the, the sun was setting, it was towards supper time, and this gentleman walks out of his house, right? His wife is saying, you know, family, let's go, ring the dinner bell, they're supposed to go have dinner. And the gentleman, the guy, looks out his window and he sees a horse aimlessly walking outside, right, if you can imagine, in front of his house. Opens the door, walks over to the horse, and of course the wife comes screaming, let's go, honey, leave him be, you know, he's just a wild horse, let him go, he'll go away. And the guy wasn't having it. And he started talking to him, and he, he just was petting him on the head, saying, are you lost, buddy? Where's your home? Where's your master? That type of thing. And for whatever reason, the guy in that moment, you know, had, a, had like a thought that he wanted to get this guy to make it, or wanted to get this horse home, home to his master. If he lost his horse, you know, in the days, uh, in those days they were very hard to come by where they lived, he would be heartbroken. And he, his, he, in that moment, made a decision, okay, to want to bring that horse home. Had no idea how he was going to do it. Okay, and he told his wife, honey, give me 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Go ahead, you know, put dinner on the table for the kids. I love you. I'll be right back. And he hopped on this horse, okay? And he just showed it some love. He petted it a little bit. And he went up in the horse's ear and he whispered, you know what to do. And the horse started taking off. And after about five, ten minutes of travel, they come right down the road. The horse immediately left the, uh, the, the front yard, hopped on the road, the, the, the dirt road, and started walking and eventually hit a fork in the road. Okay? And the horse stops dead in his tracks. And the old man, all he did was bend his head so ever so gently down to the horse's ear. And he said, you know what to do. And the horse veered off to the left and continued walking. Not just but a few more minutes later, the exact same thing. Another fork in the road. Horse stops, not really sure what to do. And the old man bends down to whisper yet again, just a handful of words, you know what to do. Okay? Fast forward about 20 minutes later into the horse ride. The horse walks up to the house of the master. The master comes out screaming, tears in her eyes, saying, oh, my God, I'm so grateful. So thank you. So thank you. How can I ever repay you? This is, you know, I've had this, this horse since, since it was a, a pony. It means everything to me. Let me, oh, my God, how did you even get him home? We live, you know, uh, 50 miles down the road. How did you know where I lived? And the old man just said to her, he led the way. The whole time he knew what to do. Okay, and the client, the guy who was actually told to go see Erickson, he was in a complete trance the entire story, and what was cool is that he was actually pissed off, it was documented that he was actually pissed off to pay Erickson for that 30 or 30 minute or one hour consult, and all he did was in what the guy thought was tell ridiculous stories, he's like some old poop, you know, at the top of the mountain on the hill just you know, stealing people's money as a scam, and all he was doing was sitting there telling stories, well, that's what he, the gentleman got in his car, the client, and drove home to see his wife, and uh, pissed off, of course, slammed the door, came flourishing into the house, went to the fridge and got a beer, right, and his, his wife could tell that he was pissed off, and she asked him how it went, he said, that old man, he did, he, it was a complete waste of time, I'm going to kill Bill for telling me to, to, you know, to go and see him, this, it didn't help at all, I'm so pissed, total waste of money, and his wife said, well, had you, have you had a cigarette yet, okay, and the answer was no, and what's really neat about this guy is that the main trigger point, the biggest trigger that he had to, to light up a cigarette was when he got in his car, okay, so while that story, he knew all along what to do, how to quit smoking, it's a, it's a decision, he knew what to do. He was a horse. That's so powerful. And I'm going to get into some of this stuff in Copywriting Mastery. But, it, you know, if you were to go see Erickson or anyone for that matter and you tell someone to do something, all right, 
People sometimes believe what they are told, but they never doubt what they themselves conclude. And to slip in, to slip past those barriers and guardians and into the unconscious mind, where you can actually make a difference through a story, through a metaphor. Lights out, game over, you get paid. How to tell a story. Think of a story that happened as a result of someone using your product or service, or they experienced the same benefit that your product or service provides. Want to persuade someone? Tell them a story about someone who did what you want the person you are persuading to do. When done properly, stories work because they're unconscious, comes to the conclusion. It's their story, it sneaks in better than any command. Because they're not, they're not looking to, to tap. People, we love stories. We don't want to keep them out. Ever since we were children, we wanted our parents to tell us stories when we were sitting in bed. We invite the story. It's a refreshing experience. It gets us out of our own pain and gets them into a fantasy story world. Why do you think Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones does so well? It's like story fantasy, right? We get to check out and live in a fantasy world. We're kids again. Story. Okay? Questions and story. All right, I'm going to go over here real quick and go just make sure you guys are still with me. Um, how are we doing, guys? Let me ask the chat, see what's up. 9.15. All right. Um, I'm going to fly. My goal is to be done in 15 minutes. I'm going to fly through the next stuff here, guys. At the bottom of the hour. And again, I apologize for the beginning. A little scare with a very good friend of ours. Um, cool. How, you guys good? Check, check. I know it's a little bit. Wow, holy crap. A thousand people. I love this. You guys are awesome. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Malia, Lanesia, Lee, what's up? Robin, cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Awesome. Mind blown. Flipping awesome. Mariana, wow. Look at you guys. All right. Very cool. <laughs> nice. Nice. Bert, what's up? Oh, my guys flying now. A thousand people will do that, I guess. Yes, sir. Right on. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Mark, what's up? Okay, beautiful. Make sure you guys can all hear me. I'm gonna un un uh, we're going to get back at it again. Turn off the chat. No, let's do this. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to fly through this, guys, and we're going to talk about the um, the dangerously persuasive mind hacks. Okay? Uh, these are huge. These are big. And I've got a bunch of these, and uh, I was going to throw a whole bunch of new ones out here, but again, because of what happened, like in a couple, I had another PowerPoint, but I just didn't feel right. Those videos were coming down because I, I need to keep my word. That was as promised. But I also understood and, and felt the cries of the people who didn't get to see those videos. So I wanted to at least give them that honor, and I threw in a bonus one. And that's just, again, dangerous persuasive mind hack number one. Tell people what to do. Commands. Commands. Bold italicize, underline the feelings and actions you want your subscribers and prospects to take. It's that simple. It is that simple. Bold italicize and underline the feelings and actions. So many times I see marketers aimlessly bold, underline, and italicize random stuff. That is a waste. This is the stuff that you want to pop out so you can help push uh, the reader, the prospect, to your way of thinking. Okay? This is huge. Your wish is their command. Now, uh, the, the emotions, you really, guys, the only things that you want to bold and pop out and italicize are commands and feelings. That's it. Those are the biggest things right, that you can do, that you can start persuasively mind hacking, chipping away at that unconscious to getting them to think what you, want, what you want them to think so they can buy your stuff. When you are ready to do that now, that is a command. The command I want you to do when you are ready to buy copywriting mastery tonight, when you are ready to do that now, I will say stuff like that. Okay? That's what I want them to do. That's the action I want them to take. Now, I'm not saying this can happen magically overnight. I'm not saying it, but what's popping out? To the prospect, this can happen magically overnight. I'm not saying it, but this can happen magically overnight. Okay? That's what is instilling. I mean, if you make that pop, you make that stand out. They're not even seeing. I'm not saying. <laughs> they're seeing that this can happen magically overnight. As you fill out the form with their name and email, command. I want the action. I want them to take. And watch the next video. You may feel compelled to buy immediately. Feelings. Feel compelled to buy immediately. You're, you're going to probably feel that a little bit later tonight. And I'm not going to blame you. It's okay. And I want you to be okay with that feeling. But you will feel compelled to buy in about 10 minutes. And I'm going to open the cart and I will allow it. And it's going to feel awesome. Okay? Mind cannot distinguish a negative. Be very, very powerful. Very careful of your word choice. Language is everything. I can't, in copywriting mastery, I stress this, so, and I'm going to stress it so much. You use neg ne <laughs> double negatives so you can embed commands. Okay? You can't make the decision to not register for this webinar. Okay? Make the decision, register for this webinar, do whatever it takes to join us live, click here to register, and, and show up early. I, I want them to make the decision. I want them to register. I want them to join us live, and I want them to click here to register, and I also want them to show up early. Now, this on the left is good. On the right is amateur, and what you see most marketers do, and even professionals. You better not miss it. The, the mind doesn't even say, read that word not. It doesn't pick up on it. The command there is miss it. You better not miss it. In fact, don't miss it. Miss it for the world. <laughs> Click here to register. You can't afford, can't afford, ding, 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 not cool. Not the words you want to be using if you want people to buy your stuff. Getting them to think they can't afford it, not going to serve you to pass this webinar up. Terrible. Terrible. Use double negatives to be able to swap the language. And there's some really cool stuff we're going to do with this in copywriting mastery. If you say the stuff on the right, that's like, guys, if you've ever seen movie trailers, these guys get it wrong too. You know, just out in theaters, don't miss it. Forget that. Tell them to go see it. They're not going to see the don't miss it. They'll probably put the movie on the back burner, which I've done. I don't know if that's the exact reason, but every movie trailer fails at this. You want to go make millions, go be a movie trailer guy and just give them that secret and watch their watch what happens to their revenue. <laughs> okay? And this was just something. This was a uh, I just put, and this is what's so cool, guys, and, and why you need copywriting mastery is because it's going to become a part of you. This needs to be a part of you. And it's got to be at the forefront. And what's cool is once you master this, you don't even think about what you're doing. I can't wait. Look at the comments. The point of this is the comments. I can't wait. I miss MLSP. Boom, I saw that. Well, come on back. Not sure why you would ever want to not stay a member for all the value training community tools. 
versus not sure why you would ever want to quit MLSP because of all the value. Do you see the difference? Why in the hell would I ever want to put online any type of command that tells anyone to quit MLSP? That's, that's silly. That's stupid. That's not what I want. And not because the company, the house makes money, because it truly does change lives. And there's so much value here, right? From the top all the way to the bottom, from the trickle-down effect, the lead, everything, the leaders. So I didn't even realize this. It was the only reason this popped out to me is because I just got done recording, yeah, I think it was video number two, that talked about this double negative stuff. And I just went to Facebook immediately after recording to say hi, and I wrote this, right? When you get good at this, this will come off your tongue like nothing. Hypnotic leading, pacing with obvious statements that must be true. <clears throat> the power of three, okay? As you are watching this video, hearing my voice and reading these words, your unconscious mind is starting to become eerily aware of how badly you need to start hosting webinars in your business and how much you need webinars on air. Now, you need to become eerily aware of how badly X, fill in the blank, that doesn't matter. That's whatever it is. The takeaway here is as you are watching this video, you say this stuff. The prospect thinks yes. Yes, I am watching this. They're analyzing every word, everything that you say. As you are doing it with me right now, as you are watching this video, prospect says, yes, I'm watching the video in their own mind. Hearing my voice. Yes, I'm hearing your voice. There's two statements. This guy's he's on a roll. And reading these words. Well, I'm doing that too. Holy shit. Okay. You're un now, after three obvious statements that must be true, the unconscious mind, and not only is it unconsciously starting to become aware that what is going to be said next is probably true, if you say your unconscious mind is starting to become eerily aware, you're blatantly saying it. You're giving, like, <laughs> it's like there's no chance here. Like, you got them. This is whatever you say next in their mind has a very good chance of, of coming out as fact, okay? As like being perceived as fact, not fiction, regardless of what it is. All right, I'm gonna skip some because I'm way behind. And here's what I, my promise to you, I'm gonna go down to uh, number eight because um, I wanna get this thing going here. And if there's time at the end and you guys, someone asks me to go back and give you those middle ones, I will, okay? But I will give this for those who did watch video number two or three, I think it was three. I'll give you a new one. Future pace, the pain and pleasure of taking action or not. I use this all day long and I'm gonna do it to you in about five minutes. Get your prospect to feel what it would like to, uh, what it would be like to feel, Get your prospect to feel what it would feel like. Oh, there we go. Okay. Get your prospect to feel what it would feel like one, three, five years into the future if they took your offer. Okay. That's so simple to do. Shoot. If you're helping them get three to five leads a day on YouTube, right? How would that feel? I mean, one year from today. Shoot. Three, 30 days from today. Five leads a day. That's what? 150 leads from YouTube over the next month for free. What does your business look like now? Three, five leads a day? Shoot. It takes one person to make you a millionaire in network marketing. How about 150 leads for free over the next month? What does that look like? How does that feel? Get them to experience in their mind's eye the future with the benefit of your product and their family's life. The benefit. If you sell like a travel thing, right? You don't paint the picture of cool travel, like, you know, awesome, you know, cost, whatever, that's cool, you get, you get to save discounts. You know what you paint? You paint the benefit of like having your kids on vacation for the first time in years and not having to look at price tags. Giving your wife two weeks in wherever, Bahamas, on the house because she, earned, she deserves it, right? She's the mother of your kids. Memories with your children when they're old, they'll tell their kids about and you'll have pictures forever to hand down for, for centuries and, and uh, generations to come. That's what you sell. You get them the experience. Okay? What changes over the next 12 months if they make a decision to not take action now? I did this uh, intentionally. What changes over the next 12 months? You, and really, you ask the prospect that. What's going to change if you make a decision to not take action now? Do you see how they're embedded commands that serve us? We're going to go deep into this stuff in copywriting mastery and you're going to sprinkle this all throughout your copy so that at the end of your sales presentation, your prospect has no choice but to move forward and buy. You conjure up the pain enough. You dig a knife into it, guys. I'm, I, I love, you know, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know that, you know, pain people mostly focus on pain. That's why we, that's why we, what we do is copywriters. But I also, I'm gonna sprinkle the hell out of pleasure. You know, I'm not all about leaving people with terrible feelings and emotions and things like that. Yes, I'm gonna do my best, and I will. I've been doing it for years. Conjure up the pain, but I'm also gonna leave them, you know, inspired, touched, moved, and inspired regarding this. Like, I'm, I, I, my goal, my, my mo is not to just conjure up the pain, make people feel and stuck in their fears, worries, because as you all know, what you focus on, you know, you're gonna bring more of. So that's not my place. That's not my choice. That's not what I'm about. But I'm also not an idiot and know that we need to play on this if we're actually going to make people move forward, okay? Hey, it's me again. Did you enjoy that presentation? Did we open up a couple different doors that maybe you didn't see about copywriting? Did you learn a few things? you understand about why persuasive copy, really what is persuasive copy and the highest paid income earners, the highest paid marketers online, really what it is and how they take advantage of it? You and I dissected the word manipulate together in that presentation. We touched on the human needs and how dire these are. If you understand these human needs, you can sell anything. Ice to an Eskimo. It does not matter if you frame it the right way. I actually gave you three of them in that presentation. I gave you two ways, as promised, my two favorite ways to tap into the unconscious mind of your prospect in under three minutes or less to start to control the thoughts. The the ideas, the thought patterns, the behaviors of your prospect. And that is, again, the most dangerous place to be. To be inside the brain, the mind of the person you are trying to persuade. My friend, there is nothing more profitable than hanging out in that domain, hanging out in the mind of your prospect. That's, ugh, love it. And I also gave you a couple of mind hacks, as promised, as well, towards the end. And I wanted to really take this to the next level. I obviously can't give you everything within an hour's period about what I've learned over the last nine years and tens of thousands of dollars invested in this skill set. What I want to give you is an opportunity to really take this whole thing to the next level. If you dig this stuff, if you like the copywriting stuff and you're ready and you know it is, you know this is the skill set that's going to make or break you and your business online. This is the number one highest paid skill set on the planet. If you want to master it and take it to the next level and let me guide you to the promised lands, you can finally start making money with your business. This is a course, a training course, an intense 
training curriculum like none other when it comes to the art of deadly persuasive copywriting. Seduce your customers to buy with dangerously persuasive words. Copywriting mastery. This is my baby. This is everything I know, and this is going to change your life. Module one, dangerously persuasive copy. I'm going to give you everything. We touched on three different human needs. There are 12 of them. One on one, I'm going to give you these needs, and I'm going to tell you why people buy, and this is going to bleed into everything you do online, period. It's going to help you get results. 201, the foundational core of persuasive copy from headlines to hooks to how do you engage to the, the actual the meat and potatoes of the presentation, all the way down to the guarantee, the logic, the emotion, the desire, how to tap into those three different individuals to get them to take action. This is the core, baby, from start to finish of deadly persuasive copy that sells your stuff. Start writing today. You may think that you're not a copywriter, that it's not in you. I'm telling you, what I'm going to give you with the, the dangerously persuasive copywriting checklist and the exercises I'm going to give you, look, you've got to learn the skill set. These are the things to get you to start writing today, to get you out of your own head, start putting the pen to paper or your fingers to the keyboard and start getting the results that you want. You've got to learn this skill set. This module is invaluable. It will probably be about five or six hours total. In fact, as you're hearing my voice right now, you can get started. Some of these are already pre-recorded for you. $1,000 value, easy. Module two, mind hacks and mind control. This is what really gets my blood going. I love this stuff. Demystifying what NLP is and how to use it in copywriting to get what you want. How to use your language to use anchors, associations, and emotions, metaphors, feelings, stories, all to your advantage. Now I'm going to show you and teach you what NLP is. What I'm much more concerned about is how to implement it and why it's important in your copywriting to help you get the results, how to get them to associate to your business, product, service, or offer the emotions that you need to elicit so that they get them to buy. This is so critical. And so many marketers and entrepreneurs fail at this, which is why they go broke. If you like the mind hacks, I gave you just a couple. I'm going to give you 47, 47 tangible here. Take these. These are mind hacks that I've used to generate millions of dollars online to get people to buy your stuff. This is an easy thousand dollar value. If you get nothing more than just implement some of these mind hacks, you will increase your conversions. I promise you. Forbidden funnel secrets, dangerously persuasive sales videos and sales letters. I'm actually going to give you a sales video and an actual PowerPoint keynote presentation. And we're going to go over at once we build the foundation, I'm going to go over this sales video with you in presentation. And you're going to be able to nitpick and understand why I say what I say, why I do what I do and why I am able to get some of the highest conversions across the board in my little space of internet home business. I just <laughs> love this stuff. The headlines, man, 50% of the battles in your headline. I'm going to give you and teach you so much on that, how to engage, how to capture your audience, engage them. So they keep reading your stuff and eventually buy your stuff. High converting capture page secrets, Boom. Curious ads that create pattern interrupts and get visitors to your site. Headlines, capture pages, ads, email marketing that magically gets people to take action. This is it. I mean, this is the money making scale, my friend. The, the funnel from start to finish, starting with the end in mind from the sales video, back to the headlines and the capture pages, back to the ads that get them to actually click on the ads so they see your capture page, all the way back to the email that's going to get them to actually open your message, click the link, and see your offer. Easy thousand dollar value. Master copywriting critique. You're going to get me in the hot seat. Once we go over the foundation, you're going to actually implement and apply this stuff. This isn't just me talking. Now you are going to actually take what you learn and apply it. And you're going to bring it to me and we are going to critique it live. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, this could be live or maybe it's already recorded in your back office waiting for you in copywriting mastery when you buy now. Either way, whether it's your copy I'm critiquing or it's someone else's, one of your peers copywriting that I'm critiquing. It's someone who's gone through this course and they've applied the principles. They're coming to me for a critique. Maybe it's a capture page video. Maybe it's a headline. Maybe it's an email. And I'm going to sit there and critique for about an hour and a half, two different sessions. This is invaluable. I've done coaching where I've charged $1,000 an hour. This is going to be an easy three-hour session total. Module four, $1,000 value, live critique, copywriting, just so cool. Module five, power words. I've created a document that is just so ridiculously awesome with hypnotic, deadly, persuasive words and phrases that gets people out of their own head and gets them to take action, whether it's story, whether it's getting them in that creative mindset. Either way, I'm going to show you how to use these words and phrases, specifically these words, to pull them and guide them to your way of thinking. And more importantly, getting them to think that it was them who created the thought that you're wanting them to create, if you're following me. Basically getting inside their mind and getting them to the exact thought that you want them to have so that they take the exact behavior that you want them to take, which is, my friend, them buying your stuff. Easy, $200 value. This I'm super excited about. Dan Kennedy interview. This is the highest paid copywriter, I believe, on the planet. I got a, an interview with him where I'm grilling this guy on your behalf. Questions directly related. Like, this isn't a hyper fluff. Get to know Dan Kennedy. This is, hey, let's grill this guy so that I can get the most ve benefit and value for you, my student, on what copywriting is, how to seduce them, the headlines, how to get people to take action to buy your stuff from this guy. Again, the highest. I mean, he's charged hundreds of thousands of dollars for one single sales letter, and he gets a royalty fee, you know, off the top of the profit for the product. It's just, this guy's the man. When you say copywriting to anyone who's been online and is in the know and, and has even picked up a book on copywriting, Dan Kennedy, my friend, is the behemoth. He's the legend, the rock star, the copywriter that you definitely will benefit from in just a 40 minute interview with this legend. And I'm going to give you the exact facts that I use to capture Dan's attention and persuade him to agree to an interview with me. Now, depending again, when you're watching this video, April 24th is when I'm recording the interview with Dan. It will be in your back office immediately. And just so you know, Dan Kennedy is a guy, he literally, he's got no cell phone. He doesn't do email. He's got guardians and barriers upon barriers to even reach this guy. And I'm going to give you, he does, he does calls one day a month, set up months in advance. That's, he does calls one day a month set up months in advance, and I was able to persuade him <laughs> to do an interview with me so that I can give it to you. And I'm going to give you the exact facts. Talk about persuasion and influence. How in the world do you not only get to a guy like Dan Kennedy, right? But what do you say to get him to agree to an interview with you? I mean, talk about deadly, seductive, hypnotic persuasion and getting people to take the actions that you want them to take. I do this every single day, and business is rocking because of it. So cool. Easy $200 value. I mean, this guy, you can't even hire this guy, period. He's ridiculously untouchable, invaluable, super excited about this. So all this stuff, if you will are wanting to master the art of copywriting and really take the level of your business to ultra heights and really build a business that you know that you want to build and live the lifestyle and the freedom and the profits and ugh, 
you're ready to buy this now. I mean, period. There's nothing out there. There's nobody doing what I'm showing you. There's nobody not only doing it, but teaching it because they don't know this stuff. This information, this value is really reserved for the highest paid marketers who have somehow gotten their hands on this information. And I'm telling you, no one's going to teach it to you like I am. And here's the deal. The bottom line is that I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm going to give you a fast track, a shortcut to cut through all the crap, the tens of thousands of dollars that I've spent in courses and trainings, the hundreds upon hundreds of hours mastering my craft and split testing it all put into one training course that you can devour in a matter of hours. It's absolutely priceless. And it's insane that I'm even offering this and giving you the opportunity to master this skill set for one one tenth the time, for one one tenth the dollar amount that I put into this course, and way more importantly, the hours upon hours and hundreds of hours put into split testing and mastering this skill set myself. It's an easy six thousand dollar value. I'm not even gonna ask three grand. I really want to help you, and I want to get you to understand these, these techniques and the strategies so that you can apply it and build your business. If you thought this training video that I just gave you was valuable, wait till you get inside this course, my friend. I'm gonna blow your mind. Your business, man, <laughs> we are just getting started. And yes, you can profit, and yes, you can live the life you were promised initially when you got started online. Once you master this skill set and you know how to get people to buy your stuff. When you know this material, your bank account will stay full. It will stay healthy. I promise you. Great copywriters never go broke for 500 bucks. They are never hungry. They are always wildly profiting because this is the skill set that gets people to give you money for 500 bucks. And in fact, my friend, check this out. If you buy before midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight, I'm going to give you my How to Sell on Webinars product 100% free. It's my seven-step selling formula to sell anything on live webinars. There are two sessions here, about an hour and a half each, so about three hours live with me. In a recorded session, I'm going to give you my seven-step selling formula. I'm going to give you uh, your very own fill-in-the-blank seven-step selling formula so that you can take this PowerPoint and literally paint by numbers, fill in the blanks, and sell whatever it is that you you have to sell, whether it's a product, your own product, business, offer, service, does not matter. I'm going to give you the actual PowerPoint that I use over this three-hour course invaluable. My friend, aside from live events, this is the next best thing that you can do as an entrepreneur, right? That energy, that live, the emotions, live events. This is the next best thing, live webinars. And I'm going to give you something that I've been working on for years and I've been able to print millions of dollars on live webinars. I'm going to give you this selling step formula. There's only seven for free before midnight Eastern Standard Time. In fact, when you buy right now, this is your copywriting mastery back office. You can go down here to the fast action bonuses and check this out right here, ready to go for you about three, over three hours of nothing but how to sell on webinars. You can start implementing this immediately. I'm going to give you the seven step selling formula blueprint itself right here, the actual PowerPoint that you can plug and play and just paint by numbers with your offer. Your, whatever you're selling, download the actual PowerPoint that we use for this epic how to sell on webinars. This right here is well worth the price tag alone, but you can dig into module one immediately as well at the time of this recording. 101, the human needs and why people buy. This was so powerful. This is over an hour of nothing but pure value on human needs. This is bleeds into everything. It's that without this, understanding why people buy the triggers, there is you got nothing. So this is absolutely critical. And we're going to record these live with our students. So depending on when you're seeing this, this could be a, a live interactive course. Either way, this is everything. You're going to have everything I've got, including that Dan Kennedy interview on top of this special gift right here. It's a one sentence persuasion course. I didn't write it. But one of my mentors, one of my someone who I absolutely look up to when it comes to persuasion and how to control the minds of your prospects and get them to think what you need them to think, feel, and behave like so that you can get paid. This is the most powerful, I mean, only 13 pages, 8,500 words long. One of the most powerful, fascinating reads I've ever experienced when it comes to hypnotic and deadly persuasion. And the, the writer, the author of this course has allowed me to add this as a bonus for you. It's ready for download immediately when you buy Copywriting Mastery. So it's all right here at your fingertips. If you've ever wanted to master the seductive art of copywriting, I am your guide. This is your course. Let me guide you to the promised land. And you will notice, my friend, it ends tonight, midnight Eastern Standard Time. Whatever you do, you need to buy this now if you want to master the art of copywriting. The bonuses that we just talked about, the One Sentence Persuasion course, the How to Sell on Webinars course, the copywriting mastery course itself and easy. I mean, I believe tens of thousands of dollars worth. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars of my knowledge, time, information, energy, everything I know about the art of persuasive copywriting. And again, I've done millions of, one of my companies alone has done over $21 million in revenue online. These bonuses, this offer comes down at midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. You deserve, you know you deserve to master this skill set. Heck, if you're not generating the type of income with your business that you think and you know that you should be, chances are, this is why. And it's not even your fault. You just don't even know what you don't know. And it's staring you in the face. The keys to the kingdom. What can unlock a life of absolute freedom is mastering the number one highest paying skill set on the planet. Again, it is not your fault that you are struggling. You just don't know this stuff, but you can. It's right at your fingertips right now. And don't even take my word for it. Look at Laura here. I was playing around with some of the concepts Brian was hammering tonight. Threw up a fresh Facebook ad in minutes. Got my first lead. Need this to say, I'm sold. And these are just a couple of the few first students that we have coming through this course. So freaking awesome. Copywriting is the single most important skill you can ever learn. I studied Brian Finale for years. It's taken my business to levels I could only dream about. He is hands down one of, if not the best copywriter in the entire internet marketing space today. What we've learned about copywriting from Brian has helped us take our business to the next level. You definitely want to take advantage of any time he trains. After learning just a few gold nuggets from Brian Finale, I am now able to spit out emails to my list and basically print money on demand. Print money on demand. Love it. Ugh, April, love it. Brian's teachings gave me a huge boost and I outpaced the standard business growth curve by a long shot because this skill set gave me the one thing every business needs to succeed, sales conversions. Patricia, thank you, my dear. By studying Brian's copywriting training and applying his methods, I was able to make over $900 on my very first live webinar. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> love it. I'm not even asking you to make a decision today, my friend. 
not even asking you to make a decision right now. Buy the course, take one of these options, and you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for whatever reason you do not think this course, this information, this skill set is worth its weight in gold, and wh- the way I'm going to teach this, which is like nothing you've ever seen before. This is like the, the stuff you want to put your kids before bed type of stuff. This is the ninja stuff that will get you results, the, the mind hacking, the mind control, the deadly persuasive, how to influence and control the thought processes of your prospects so you get paid, so they buy your stuff. Nobody's teaching it. You know that you need to master this skill set. 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like it for whatever reason, send us an email. No questions asked. We will refund you your money. I guarantee. Take this leap of faith. You know you need to master this skill set. I'm the guy who can teach you. It can take you there. Let me put my money where my mouth is. I'm taking the risk. You just go ahead and take one of these options. Buy now. And let's start your copywriting journey. I guarantee in the next couple of weeks, if you're not increasing your conversions by leaps and bounds, if this isn't worth its weight in gold, I don't want your money. But I guarantee you will love this course. You will this skill set. What I'm about to give you is years and years of trainings and tens of thousands of dollars in split testings and, and courses and knowledge and everything that I know about building multi-million dollar companies, all based upon this one skill set of persuasive copywriting mastery so that you can seduce your customers to buy with dangerously persuasive words. That's the name of the game, baby. Total freedom when you understand and implement the skill set by copywriting mastery now you'll get an instant email with your login instructions you'll be able to access the course immediately and imagine having that business that you've always dreamed of this is why you're struggling let me help you get over this hump break through this barrier that's holding you back and will keep you held back because if you can't get people to buy your stuff you will stay broke let me help you build the life and business of your dreams bye now you and i let's get started on this together your freedom today